Jogan here, joined by Johnny and Turtle. Seven game, maybe seven after. Man, the atmosphere here is unbelievable. I feel like we could just stand here, say nothing, and this would still be the most exciting grand final of all time. Oh, yeah. But what a prospect. I feel like this is the dream final for a lot of us at the venue here and a lot online as well. Yeah. Two extremely popular teams, two teams who have really impressed and set themselves above the rest at this event. Oh, you definitely know that T Bait said it best. This might be the most mechanical matchup we have ever seen. Agreed. What we've witnessed from these players has been simply on another level, something that I never experienced or expected to see in Rocket League. We already got some high flying action. Early on in the series, in the Winter Major, it was Team Queso, now Moist, who came out fast. They've got that lower bracket momentum. You know, for now, that is working well for them. And they've got a long, long way to go. They ran out of steam in LA. Yeah. Luckily for them, they played three less games on their way through lower bracket this time with the sweep just there earlier on in the day. That's the main thing, stamina here on this 360 stage. You've got the crowd, probably the loudest we've ever heard, screaming at you. You can feel it shaking as you're up there competing for the best in the world. And we'll see what Team Falcons have to offer against Moist Esports, trying to make the upset. This is that NRG versus Dignitas energy in here. Everyone in the arena is just going to shout, cheer, and holler for every goal that we see go in. Who's oh, going to get it first? Up. Shots oh. made by O'Callaghan. That man looks to keep the ball alive. Plays the ball back down. Oh! Team Falcons! And it's that guy, Ahmad, who absolutely popped off when he scored the winning goal in the upper final oh, earlier on. Falcons put an end to the Moist momentum. Now it's Moist's turn to try and regain. Just based on the rotations, you can sense the eagerness of the players on Team Falcons. Two players actually going for that same shot, but it didn't matter. Still ended up finding it. 1-0 for Team Falcons. It'll be all up to Moist Esports to be able to challenge Team Falcons in the mental game. But more importantly, I feel, Johnny, in the challenge game, if you oh, yeah. cannot win those 50s against Falcons, you don't stand a chance as a dangerous opportunity lingers at the goal. Yeah, nice little sneaky move there at the near post by Moist. That was a surprise shot that Falcons were not ready for, but for them, wasn't on target. This one might be. It is! And it's in for Joyo! Incredible work from Moist Esports so far in the corner. We talked about this all tournament long. The corner play is essential for every single team, and Moist, of course, they're dominant with it. I'm not entirely sure these noise cancelling headphones are going to work all too well for they're us. They're not. Wait, these headphones are noise cancelling? <laughs> I can hear the loud and clear. <laughs> it is electric in here. I in couldn't even hear Stax. Stax no, muted for me. Well, if you guys at home can hear Stax, we could not hear him. <laughs> the crowd is too loud behind us. Great response there by Moist. They know that they have to fight for the midfield against Falcons. They know that if they just play defensively, they're going to struggle. But it's never been the Moist way. They're out here to play fun Rocket League. And you talk earlier on about who the fan favorite will be. I think it's just whoever can pop off the most. These fans have been going crazy for all kinds of teams and players all weekend. If you score a banger, there's going to be noise in the cover box. Listen, this crowd has got a chance for every single player, and they will use it the moment you score for them. Just rise off the wall. Does have a turn on the far side to aim for. You can also see TRK and Ahmad. They are aware of that fact. Incredible at reading the direction the play is going. Oh, Falcons. Always have options. They don't like to dive in quite as much, Turtle. Yeah. It's a team that was quick, picked their battles very well, Whoa. but needed to find Ahmad. Yeah, a bit of a surprise that that one made it across the box uncontested. Looks like Falcons weren't ready for it either. Still a tie game. Matchup that would be, I think, Moist's favorite if they win this one. Oh, dear. Tira. Oh. And Gallic follows up. Mastery in the challenge game once again from Falcon. Pay attention to TRK in that situation. Baiting out the defender, waiting to get the proper 50-50. It slips back into the midfield, and you've got the follow-up follow from Khaled. Saw from Patera's positioning as well. The one thing you can't do against any team at this level, you can't be stood still in defense. Because the moment you are, you can't oh! die. And Patera makes it up. A great response by Moist. TRK looking to clear the ball to the side. Matera reads him, drills the ball top corner past Cali. Johnny, you were complaining about this a couple of weeks back, but uh, Moist have now started to get a little bit of a reputation this tournament for these kickoff goals. You know, 
we've had the kickoff goals cropping up at times late in games. Early, Ooh. we almost get another one. And both these teams are very good at starting all right off the of kickoff, using the chaos. The fact that nobody's got boost yet to capitalize using the speed and the acceleration that they're all so known for. My favorite thing so far about game one is how this series has transitioned into more aerial play. It started out on the ground, low 50-50s even here in the corner, bringing it down. But as we transition into the final minute, we're bringing it up in the air. Those air dribbles, oh, oh, oh. blows, oh, boost continuing steals, to work. Unreal boost steal there by Khaled. Really starving Moist at the moment. Oh. They've all run out, oh. and it's an own ball! Is that what it takes to grab game number one and put Falcons a step closer to the London Major? And there's just nothing you can do about that. Rotating back, maybe go to the far post, but even then, how do you predict a 50 smacking you on your forehead? Yeah, it's a tough one. No time to react, but full credit to Falcons. Khaled stole one boost, air dribbled the ball across the box, stole the other one as well, and then that left Moist completely stuck in the water. There's nowhere that they could move there. Now just 30 seconds left. Moist have come back both times that Falcons took the lead before this. They've got to do it again. Almost found the pass downfield. Moist working on it yet again. Interception over TRK. Gonna burn more crucial seconds off the clock. Rise would have liked to have found Joyo. At least the boost amounts currently good over go. Moist. They can work in this position. Ball up into the air. Somebody's now going to have to go and get up to Khaled. They've done exactly that. Ball went midfield. Ahmad's got the ball initially red. Still a chance for Moist. They've got some momentum in the play here. They can just get it up into the air, but, but it's there. not going to bounce for them. Oh, that's it. it is straight into the ground. And Falcons take game number one, potentially in the first of two series. Of course, they'd rather just win it in one. I just get the feeling from both these teams, Turtle, that you look at both sides and you think they're the sort of the protagonist. They've yeah. got the stories written around both it's sides. Both teams are the teams of destiny. It's ideal here at the Copper Box Arena to have these two opponents on the stage. And you can just hear the roaring crowd on both sides. It's lovely to see, and the Rocket League community really truly feels like it's come together here for this grand final. Let's take a look through these replays. It was a scramble. You're going to see a lot of these sorts of goals. If any player has the sort of positioning and freeness to go for the all-out plays and just smash the ball, you know something's gone wrong elsewhere. Everybody at home, welcome to the Grand Finals. And I think they're having a little bit of fun <laughs> behind us. They, they haven't stopped having fun. They're they are loving it. Constant action. Copper they've, Box, they've... I'm going to give you my microphone for a second. Let's hear you all. Grand Finals, what do you think? There it is. <laughs> Unanimous. That's the best noise that's come from this microphone all week. Still, cheers coming through from Balkans. So the appreciation is constant. Everyone recognizes that they're witnessing true greatness. Oh my. The team who have waited for years just for a chance to compete and they appear to be seizing it upon the first opportunity, as if it was written. Off the backboard, nobody available to follow up, but you're absolutely right, Johnny. The mental strength of this team does not only have to wait for as long as they have, but even when the opportunity did finally come their way, they couldn't even get to send the entire team. They had just different issues pop up, meaning Khaled could not join us at these events. Yeah. Turtle, you already spoke to us yesterday about how hard it is to stay on top a couple of weeks off, and oh. suddenly you drop down. To have that much go against you and still be playing at this level is incredible. Absolutely. Even missing one tournament, one crucial tournament at that, it could end careers here, especially in the RLCS where players develop and advance in mechanics within weeks. So to see Team Falcons now with the full roster still shining, but they've got Joyco to, or to deal with. It's a weird thing to be experienced in. But Moist Esports experienced at getting these lower bracket runs got done. And Moist Esports get themselves on the board. Johnny, staying on the topic of mentality, maybe one of the strongest teams in the world, if not the strongest mental team in the world. Oh, certainly, it's a, it's a mountain where both these teams stand at the top. How many times we've seen them in, on match point, their opponents, about to eliminate them and Moist bounced back. They refuse to be eliminated time and time oh. again. 
from every single tournament. I'm sure the friends would love to see an upper bracket front run from them at some point, but they've gone through Lures twice yeah. now. Vulcans as well. You know, two game sevens so far in the upper bracket. They've gone down game one in their opening two series. They've look reset over one. Well, a nice little catch there on the backboard. Ahmed carries it away. When we talk about Moist Esports, so many young players on this team dealing with the anxiety on the stage. It's so much to battle through, but they feel and look like they were born for it. There's a shot from Falcons up the backboard, still looking for something else. Falcons really looking to keep that pressure going. Moist Esports, some of the best transitions that you will ever see. Do get themselves out of a very sticky situation. I might even have the infield pass available. But I love that rotation. You get that an awful lot from all members on Falcons. Just hook themselves back into the middle. Might even get the block. Important for Mamad to make sure he spotted the player landing rather than thinking that the play was already done and dusted. Now back to the corner. Vatira infield. Once again, Falcons know to time their rotation back in time with that infield pass. They've always got somebody available to intercept. A nice little bump sets up here by Moist. Oh. They've got the passing play as well. Choyo just effortlessly sends it on target. Three against one. Falcons with the numbers disadvantage. Completely stuck with what to do here. Khaled is forced to challenge early here. Let's rise off the ball play. Brilliant by Moist. All three players working perfectly yeah. in unison to put them two goals ahead. There's so much trust from Joyo and his teammates. All three players were in a straight line across, leaving your defense wide open. If that pass doesn't connect, it might be the end for Moist Esports' lead, but it does actually find its mark because of it, they get a second goal. That all sets up by a controlled challenge as well. Falcons not the only team who are controlling those 50-50. It's almost disrespectful to players of this caliber to call it a 50-50, indicating a coin flip as if it's not calculated every time with players like this on the pitch. Oh, tried to catch them out. Made the infield pass look a little bit too obvious. Moist Esports were ready for it, but now in the second opportunity, TRK zero boost, can't find the setup. And now Joyo doesn't find Khaled. That is crucial. Keeps Falcons in this game. Two goal leads. One minute and 40 left on the clock. Khaled back to TRK. Here we go. Might actually keep this oh. going. Matera pops the ball up high. What Falcons will like their chances. And they take it. Perfect placement. Ahmad spotted the pre-jump. Shoots it underneath. And that is lovely work from Team Falcons. All three players getting involved. And of course, the bottom right corner sniped for Team Falcons. One goal difference between both teams. A minute and 30. Plenty of time for Falcons. Oh, Musty looks to try and take it the entire way. That's a classic for Joyo. Those Musties. Keeps bringing them out. Tura keeps the ball over in the midfield. The best defense is to never see the orange side of the field again for the rest of this game. Although now you see Joyo's going to be late on the rotation back and Falcons could get control of the ball. Kyle left his squad in a whole heap of trouble. So we get a corner, backboard. Are they going to go? Not really a shooting angle. And I like that Batira took the sting off the shot. It means the Falcons can't counterattack all that quickly. Well, it's no doubt going to up the aggression. They continue to trail with time ticking down for now. Is about Big ball. Is Ahmad. This is the ball at the back post. Khalid actually put that between a pass and a shot. The transition. Now the double at the other end. Joy is up for it. Intercepted by Ahmad, who just beats him to the punch. Rise. I'll look for the backboard. Falcons have to defend as they look for the transition over, but we've all seen what this game tends to produce. You know Falcons likely to have one big shot at this, although that was very dangerous. Double come in. Pass the ball back over to Rise. TRK, he's going to have Ahmad and Okalit. Left and right side. Huge by Vatira, just went high, predicting the perfect touch that was coming towards him. But have they got an answer? Ooh. Yes, they do. Another goal line save. Rise scrambles, takes every challenge he can. Ahmad up, double commit as well. It's up to Rice to buy his team some time. Drop, will it go the whole way? That's Still a up. good start. Joy Otas have ended the game. He can't quite do it. Khaled keeps the ball up. TRK with options. Can they find their opportunity? There's Joyo. Leaves it for Ahmad. Pops the ball up. Rice playing the most high level. Get the ball to the floor as he possibly can. How are you Joyo doing this? Finds the same. <laughs> That was unreal. I don't know how they get the ball alive. They were forced to just keep it alive in terrible positions there, but they did for a long time. 
moist, composed the entire time. Even though they yeah. probably thought that was going to end without another goal line save. That Austin is just terrifying. Forcing them to the break. You can feel the crowd, the stadium shaking. They were stomping on the ground. I, it my was feet literally ridiculous. felt like an earthquake. <laughs> I could not find my footing. But Imagine what it feels like to be on that state. Exactly. You know every single touch that you are getting is making the crowd get oh. even louder. <laughs> we keep mentioning this, how we had two years of online tournaments. But once we got back to stages like this one, we were going to see a shuffling of the order. But both these teams have proven that they can do it at both levels. Well, Moyes have done something that neither Space Station or version one can do, and that's stop Falcons from getting a big advantage yeah. in the series. It was 3-0, Falcon Space Station 2-0, when it went into the next round against V1. Moyes have figured out a way to get a game early in the series. They're toe-to-toe -to -toe with them at the moment. And everybody knows what they want in here. They're all asking for a bracket reset. Are we going to get it? We've got a best of five remaining. As a score, it's tied at 1-1. Um, oh, wait a second, oh. Khalid! 1-0! Out the gate, here comes Team Falcons. Warmed up and ready to go off the backboard. Then into O'Khalid, five seconds in. Perfect speed for the TRK. He had absolutely no boost left after that one. Just managed to beat Moist to the ball. Get it into the middle for Khalid to slot. It's a confident finish as well, although you'd expect still an open net. Game three has been where Falcons seem to hit their power peak in all of these series that we have seen them this week. In the best of fives, they had the jobs done very quickly indeed. And the rest of the times, so we just see them just step a level above. It's taken a couple of different timeouts just to slow them down in previous occasions. It seems like the 50-50s as well for Moist Esports in these corners. Starting to fail a bit. You can see how the possession is working out for Falcons. Moving this ball into the midfield. Pop it up. Go for the air dribble. Stall out with a 50-50 if you need to. One player can rotate back. And that's a lovely touch to keep possession from Ahmad. I'll notice a lot of the recoveries Falcons are using our ball side. And that's traditionally been criticized at high level rock league. These guys understand each other to that level that they can actually just go straight back towards the ball, put pressure on it, and buy time for their defenders behind them. It's one of those things that you don't always want to try it at home. Don't try that in your ranked games. You're going to get some teammates who ask you to stop cutting rotation. But the pros, no other day. Rise takes control, sees the immediate charge of TRK, and sees not much more afterwards. Wipes off the field. Leaves Vatira and his teammate. But we said. do the rest of the work, and Vatira happy to do exactly that. Non shooting angle here. Falcons very good at getting saves into safe spots, making Moister even more work as it bounces down. Heart and mouth moment for Falcons. Moist Esports threatening at this moment towards the Falcons defensive side. But it does feel like Falcons are prepared for these flip resets. Everything that Moist have thrown at them, they've had a player in position between the net and of course that shot, getting a piece of it. It doesn't matter if you win the 50-50 for that shot, just getting a touch of it, throwing off Moist and taking their possession and just throwing it into the trash. I love that little ball pass from TRK straight back into the middle. Full knowledge of Rama, but we to look out for the, the bump. bump. TRK lands it. Oh, what a reaction as well for the Falcons players. They can't believe DRK's managed to connect this oh. one. You just knew. You just knew the moment that Rise was forced to stop his car, he was the target. And unfortunately for him, he was right. Two goal lead for Falcons. Not letting that previous game loss get to them in any which way. Scoring in the opening five seconds, they might have another chance here. Counter-attack, Vatira wants the backboard. Khaled already has it covered. I feel like that's a bit wasteful there for Moist. Yeah, you know, the hard clears have definitely bought them time to get boosts when they are struggling. It's important to give themselves this space to work with, but Look at the all control. right, you don't want to do that while conceding possession. They've got to follow up those hard clears with something productive, some kind of forward bump, some kind of boost seal, or even an interception, but Moist are being stretched a little bit here. For me, it's the positioning of Team Falcons. It's unbelievable to see that they have somebody in place prepared for a big clear, even a pinch off the ceiling towards the backboard. Look at O'Callaghan, he's all the way in position, a nice first touch, and he can control it out of his hat. It's certainly an you know, improvement from Moise is trying to pass the ball at defense. That's the idea. Now, Long is trying to do the same thing. Early interception by Rise, but again, Khaled's on the backboard. I feel like he's just made the backboard his home for this game. Joyo, oh. just wide! 
He had a clean route through to the top left corner. And he accidentally hits the post. And the boost was not enough for them to keep the attack going. Had to reset a little bit, give a bit of space over, and that double commit might mean the end of this offense. Khaled, though, was just as low. He had zero. Let's get a little bit more. Khaled past one. Almost got it past two. The Falcons look indestructible in this game. You can hear the crowd getting louder and louder as this game winds down. Actually, I think they're chanting NRG right now, just to let you know. Oh, oh. they're going to be changing their tune for the material, goal, no doubt. <laughs> well, if you're a skeptic, you better be hoping NRG get more support in the copper box because as soon oh, as they my. start chanting NRG, my score. Was this the turbo era of NRG with the young goal? <laughs> One goal now. Minute 15 on the clock. And meet Moist Esports. Our team that just feel like it's miracle after miracle when it comes to them. Can they provide us another one? Miracle they're even here, right? And I feel like we were saying that back in LA. And yet they continue to provide us with such entertainment. Joyo looks to get an extra touch. This could actually be a good spot, but look at that from O'Khaled. One extra bit of contact off the wall. And suddenly you're in a good spot and your team's the one in offense. This is where everything falls on Moist Esports. To gain the lead in the series, they've got so much work ahead of them. A bracket reset against Team Falcons, who of course have been hot all tournament long. Now looking for the second goal. Rice, does he have options available? Might have to go the way himself. Does have Joyo in the midfield. Oh, oh, the Can it doesn't Ball. have it covered the first time. Here's Matera! Oh! Khaled tried to do the impossible there, tried to just hang in the air and block the first shot, but Falcons ran out of steam, Moist pounced on them, and they've tied the game. How many more can they provide us in the last 30, 10, 0 seconds? No way. Rice almost was in the perfect spot for that ball just to drop down onto him. Next goal crucial. Moist Esports wanting to reset the bracket. They can do it. Drops down. Joyo. Keeps the ball alive, but oh. we will go to overtime. And that's an overtime film, because you'll be glad to see the boosters running low for them there. I don't know how glad I'd be to be in overtime against Moist Esports, though, Johnny. It's a bit terrifying, given their record. And of course, you've got Rise, who hits every single clutch shot he gets presented. Drops, leaves. Rise has a bit of time to work with. Just off the backboard instead, realizing they did take a shot and it didn't go in. His team might be a little bit late on the rotation back. Again, boost start from Falcons. Off the backboard. Only Khaled has something to play with. Pass infield denied by TRK. He's got absolutely nothing, but he's trying to stay on the ball. It's in these overtimes that the plays that you would go for in scrims, maybe even for online Thomas, don't exist oh. anymore. <laughs> does this at any level. It's 1-50-50 to change the outcome, Vatira sends it home. And a 50-50 through Khaled himself. Mid-air with a pre-flip, Vatira sends Pulkins a message. And they're just so calm. <laughs> we just heard the entire stadium erupt, and everyone on that stage looks like it's just another day in the office. Work's not over. They still got plenty to go, Shogun. It's work to do. No matter how little both these teams make it look like work. Oh dear, crowd did not like that one. I think they spotted some version one merch. Let's see. Can they do it this <laughs> time? I think they did. Moist Esports able to come back in the final few moments of regulation. Do take it over in overtime. They were in this position before Turtle. Right. For those of you that were not able to join us back in LA. Moist Esports, back then known as Queso, got the bracket reset done. Couldn't quite finish the job in the second match. Right. But it's a weird thing to be experienced in, is coming in from the lower bracket. Yeah. And it's, they were... it's a flip side tactics thing, oh, if anything. Come on. I mean, Moist Esports, they're confident. You heard the interviews beforehand coming Apparently, we need years. to be involved in this. Uh, oh, we're in this. Okay. We're, we're in this, yes. apparently. So you can see us. Hey! There we go. <laughs> I hope the party atmosphere is coming for our home. This is
is new territory for Vulcans. They've been first to three in both best of sevens they've played this tournament. Now Moist are running away from them two games in a row and three goals in a row at the moment. These starts for Falcons, though, just on fire. They come out with blazing fast speed. Of course, there's a demo, but then able to recover in the corner. Transition out. Holding down within the first two minutes, I think, is the most essential part for Moist Esports. And a quick series would be ideal. Their stamina, I'm questioning, will they ever run out of energy up there? It's a weird thing to say, but this one's actually been easier than last time. Oh, yeah. Just because the last time, the final day, they had to do so much, but a 4-0 up against V1. Yeah, compare that to yep. the Space Station series at the Winter Major, down to and, you know, absolute last second. As well. Yeah, Moist have definitely had an easier run through, but I don't think it's because the quality of competition was any lower. I think they just did it a little bit better this time around. They've got that additional experience. They know what to do in these kind of positions, just how much energy to use and how much to save. But as the entirety of this tournament, it feels like the momentum is very obviously on one side or the other, especially with how many sweeps and reverse sweeps we've almost had oh. at times. As we do oh, see oh. it you cannot give those to Ahmad. Oh, Matira with a huge mistake here. He tries to pass the ball across to Rise, but kicks out off the wall, and Ahmad jumps on it, punishes him. But it's Falcons in front again. And that's just a classic situation, an example of how to read a defensive play. He knew exactly where Moist Esports wanted to carry that ball out, put himself on the far side, was able to find the interception, and as a result, probably get one of the easiest goals in the series. Tira gets the block. He might go the whole way. Oh! Oh! Falcons are a team of exceptional 1v1 players. But we get Matera, who won me freeze. Well, here's the danger of that rotating oh straight my. back towards the ball. TRK puts it in his own net, but for the second game in a row, Matera crushes the challenge. Both teams showing exceptional control in offense with their 50-50s. Joyo tries to snipe the kickoff. Ahmad turns back towards the goal. Take note, Space Station Gaming. That's how you stop an immediate shot. And Ooh. the transition is almost completed by TRK. Seems like everybody is to be prepared because their forehead might get smacked if they're in front of the net and oh, have another man. own goal. We saw that for most esports as Team Falcons are heading down the other way. A good bounce to the corner. Whoa. And the follow up saved by the pre jump. Shot looked high, but still, to connect that pre jump is ridiculous. It's something Falcons had to deal with earlier on with Torment from version one. Pre jumping so many of their shots. Have they noticed that? Will they start to shoot low? Will they start to shoot slowly? to try and just give awkward shots for Moist to deal with. This feels like Falcons have decided to up the pace. They're going to test if Moist can keep up with them in that sort of game, get those challenges and see who wins them. To see Joyo, no boost to his name, just tries to keep the ball up and playable for everyone on the field. Joyo. Might go the hole, he's got Rise. Ooh. That's the way Rise has done more in this oh. game. Oh, wait a minute, but oh, Tira, I think he could feel the breath on the back of his neck. Massive save by Ahmed to get that much distance on it under pressure. Matira dealt with it well. Defensive masterclass from that young man all weekend long. And as I'm looking at the Moist Esports defense, getting a little bit concerned. I see all three players sometimes bunch up in their own half, stumbling over each other in the rotations. For Team Falcons with how quick they can transition, they find the goals. Moist Esports, there was a good look on the other side. I don't think there was a single place he could have put that shot and it would have gone in. Between <laughs> the three of them, Team Falcons had that covered. And they really do put themselves in positions where double commits are likely, but they recover so quickly it doesn't really matter. They've got so much covered into the goal, so many different angles denied every single time. Oh, big demo. Team Falcons. Looks good, promising for them. Ahmad looking at the shot, the 1v2, doesn't find it, but they're threatening. I love the reset onto the floor, get the wave dash. Almost managed to catch Moist Esports out. TRK, there's enough support on the far side, he's gonna have to delay the play so he Maybe can get it over. Choya realized the danger he was under. Is he gonna go the whole way? He gets oh, the first, fine. and Rice gave up on it. Didn't quite believe the original play. It's Falcons trying to get away. Acceleration of the ball is just unbelievable from these flip reset plays. 50 seconds to go. Can Moist make it three games straight? Will Falcons tie? This has been a very evenly matched game. 
right the way through to the end. Vatira with the impossible oh, oh, oh. angle rebound it is deflected wide. I mean, you have to just treat everything like it's a goal scoring opportunity. That is where we have got to as an esports. Drop down pass for Rise! What oh, a oh, save oh. by O'Kallit! Boost is gone. Ama just picked up 100, but that's all Falcon Dab to work with. It's still in the box. CRK is going to leave it for Khaled. The bravery from Falcons as they continue to hold on. Rise. Reset. Couldn't delay it any further. Matera takes control of the ball. Here we go. The Falcons might be able to break away and stares the challenge from Matera. This is for it. Shoyo, off the, the back up. Boost faster. Yeah. Oh. Moist in the house. And Falcons cannot hold on any longer. Beautiful delay on the shot there by Rise. He saw the pre-jump. Had he hit it faster, Ahmad had him covered. He slows it down, and now with two seconds to go, they lead the game. Is there any other player you want behind the shot than Rise? I don't think so. Oh, I like the idea there from Falcons. They had right. the ball going back to their player, but the ball would not help them. It got to the floor. Crowd, they know what they want. Oh, I know who's pockets. So now they get a bit of a breather, but you they are recover. so, so far back in the series. And you know, we mentioned earlier on, oh. up until now, Moise have made this run a little bit easier on themselves compared to the Winter Major. They're skipping out on going to game seven, they're getting into. The match point and taking it first try. 4 1, 4 0. Oh. Yeah. That is not a lot of Rocket League compared they, to what they played at the winner. They want us, by the way. If you, if you. <laughs> if they get 4 1 again here, they've got something left in the tank. They're just going crazy. I'm trying but to stay it's focused pacing. right now, but I can't even do it with all of these tell. people. I know, I know we talked about it a lot. Is it the level that you were expecting in here? Absolutely not. I've never been to the Copper Box. It's my first experience, and it is beyond all expectations I could have ever had. Did they not? Did, was this not in the job interview? No. Did they not? Say, I wasn't prepared. Trying try to cast the game with a bunch of ridiculous <laughs> screaming people behind fans. You, screaming your name. Can you blame them though? Come on, give it to him, Johnny. Give it to him. <laughs> There's nothing like it. There really isn't. Now, if we think about it for a minute, what do Falcons want to do a little bit differently, you know? They're leaving it very late to react to shots uh -huh. that are coming their way. <laughs> Everybody wants a, a bracket reset, but apparently a closer one than 4-1, because <laughs> they want Falcons to win some games uh -huh. now. Now, it's all about early challenges. Falcons need to play the ball early. Yeah. They need to try and get contact to give time to their last man back. They've done it well all tournament, but Moist are really making it tough on them. They're, they're confusing them with the setups. They're changing the pace beautifully. They've got plenty of time here to get a reset as we take a look at Team Falcons. What kind of adjustments come out here moving forward? Of course, a lot of responsibility on the coach, and we'll see if they can make the adjustments they need to to battle out against the most mechanical team in Rocket League, Moist Esports. Well, they've won both games after timeouts before. Let's see if they can do it again. Here we go. Match number five. Are we going for a bracket reset? Or can Team Falcons put this together? And after the day we had yesterday, where so many reverse sweeps were so close, there's no reason to believe that this is done, or even anywhere close to it. As Khaled, he's got one more turn. Oh. But unfortunately for him, that one's called Choya. When we're looking at Moist Esports, this is crucial. Match point, you can win this one. 4-1, previously against G2 at the Winter Major. They went to game seven in the first series, exhausting. Now you've got this crowd screaming at you. Of course, they're on your side, but it's gonna drain all your energy, and they really need it if they wanna go the distance. Right straight to the ceiling, past oh. the pre-jumping opponent. TRK is trying to keep the ball in the back corner here. Trying to buy time for everybody to get back. He does well, gets past another moist challenge. Every team Falcons have gone up against. It seems like they can get two for ones more often. It seems like they can go past two players. And maybe the opponents go past one, but they'll go past two more as the recoveries come through, as the rotations come through. Moist are the first team who are really getting more outplays per minute. And Falcons, can they get one though? Ahmad lands it with 
an irritable demo. And he had to do that quick. He had Chayo <laughs> chasing him down. As both teams went for the same play. Oh my, you look at the hustle from Joyo to get back on defense, but he's not there in time. Can't even get a touch on the ball as that sinks in. The Falcons might just be able to win this game if they keep playing like this. It's a good kickoff. It's going to fall in. That's what you like to see if you're a Falcons fan. Another kickoff goal. Joyo with no chance to get back to it. Khaled slots in the bottom corner. And when Fiorio were making their way back yesterday, it was a very dominant first game that they did. Not to start heading over to it. And the Falcons replicate that. Oh they make the first one. Oh, the best time from TRK. What? Three oh. now. Just briefly there, we thought we might be witnessing the best recovery ever. But Tira oh, did blunder the first touch, but he almost got back to it. And now it is. A massive lead for Falcons. Can they hold on to this? They lost the two-goal lead earlier this series. And it's just one-way traffic right now. So another kickoff. Almost goes into my sub corner. You can tell the fans are happy either way at the moment because they know they either get a bracket reset yeah. or that we go to Champions Field. That's what it's all about. Team Falcons, Champions Field, they would love to see it. Already did the rest of their region a massive favor. They will be sending two teams overall to this event. Falcons continue to hold strong at the midfield. Boys have starved their boost several times. Lead on in previous games. Falcons discipline and needed now more than ever. Oh, Another oh. half chance goes just ah. wide to the net. Charlie recovers quickly. Bit of panic play for Moist Esports. First touch does go their way with the follow up. Boom to the other side, given straight into the hands of Team Falcons. And when you got to get three goals, you have to keep it close. Look for any opportunity. A nice musty flick that we've seen several times. It's not Joyo this time. Rise up in the air. Solid follow up. Team Falcons comfortable to take this ball out. Moist is going to do this. They've got to get something going very soon. Falcons now. Just two minutes to hold on. Moist struggling to create as many chances per minute as they did earlier in the series. Great adjustments by Falcons with the time out once again. Of course, Moist still have their CUs should they need it later on. Khaled leaves it. Not the first time that we have seen Falcons just call off the initial player and let the ball drop even further back. Great effort just to burn a little bit more time off the clock. Joyo misses that shot. To the corner. Joyo versus O'Callaghan. Oh, with. Went off. This is actually a good opportunity for Tiro. Oh, the work he's got to do. Aims the TRK. He sees Rice going oh. up. Off the backbone. This is their best chance they're going to get. Wow. And they had to score that one. Once again, Moist in perfect synergy. Send everybody forward and make it work. Oh, it's really. Not able to read that one. That is simply unfair, but Tira up for the aerial. He goes for the bump, Rise pre-jumped it, knowing his teammate's going for the bump, and then Joyo the follow-up as that third man. Is there any more scary team in the world than a Moist Esports that know oh. they don't really need to defend anymore? They're going up for this. Can oh. they make us believe? Woo. The shot did not have enough oh. depth. That one did, but TRK too strong on the goal line. Panic clear there from Falcons at the end of the game as they start to worry about yet another Moist comeback. Something that the whole world has had to start worrying about. As this team has made its name, an all-important goal for Team Falcons. Once more, it's Ahmad. He gets it sneaking through at the near post. The machine. Listen to them chant away. I mean, imagine <laughs> what it feels like to be a player on this stage. That's got to fill you with some confidence. I wonder what it's like to put noise cancelling headphones on top of noise cancelling headphones. I don't know that, <laughs> will that even do anything? I don't do this so. stack. Maybe technology to be found for the next time. Oh, Khaled, off the block. 35 seconds left in this game. You get the feeling that Falcons have got this oh. done. That will secure it further. 5 1. Team Falcons. Hey, look at this steal from TRK as well. Ahmed had it, but TRK just throws himself in. <laughs> Steals the goal. 
They both looked across to the green after that one. That's how you know you're having fun. Five to one, Team Falcons gaining the lead. 29 seconds left. This match, this first series, of course, not over. We talk about having fun. TRK, okay, all full of smiles after that last one. Seems like Falcons know that this game is done and dusted. I mean, how could, how could they not enjoy it? They've secured World Salt Obey. They're bringing another team from the region with them. They're in a grand final and they've made, made a major. They've done everything. They've proved everyone wrong. They really have nothing left to no prove. Pressure. Win or lose here. They're enjoying it, as you always should, in a moment like this. Rise makes it to. But it is nothing more than consolation. Falcons destroy them in game number five. So Moist up against the most difficult game in Rocket League, and that is match point. And they need to do this here because if they lose this next one, Champions Field. Oh my. Oh, if they're. I can't even imagine what that feeling would be like. They would rather avoid that, get this series done, have a little bit relaxed, and then look to do it again. But for Falcons, what a palate cleanser that will be of a game. 100%, you can see how that's gonna affect them moving up. Taking a break as Moist Esports, headphones off, listen to the crowd. I don't know if it's gonna help you, depending on the type of person you are. And that's okay. Are they always expecting to have like hear the coach better do uh, that? I, like, I'm maybe, sure. maybe. <laughs> I don't think they've called a timeout. I think it might just be um, quick reset. They, they've still got that. Something of yeah. Sirius PC and training. Have a look over there. Can't really tell. Where's the clips from here? We've got the workout session around here somewhere. Well, mostly comfortable. That's so impressive to see. We forget after all the success they've had, just how inexperienced this team is. Second line. <laughs> Ridiculous. Quick succession. It's but they look like they've been doing this for years. It's what makes me genuinely believe that these three players were born to do this. There is something specific. I don't know if, if there's some specific thing in their DNA that creates them to be monsters under all of this pressure. They just thrive off it, even in excruciating moments. But this is their chance to prove it. Match point for Moist Esports. We knew this was going to happen once a new format was brought in last <laughs> season. That we would get people that could deal with losses better than ever before. Because you were going to do a lot of losing with this new format. It was all about could you string performances back together. Moist just need five minutes of performance to get us that bracket reset. Falcons need five to get us the Champions Field. That was a great bump by Ahmad on the first kickoff. Couldn't play the ball, played the man. Made sure that oh. Moist wouldn't have a play on it either. I'm not trying to buy his team some time here. I love Just it. running low. Take a look at Rise and the way he's positioning himself. So smart, waiting patiently for Team Falcons and what they're going to do. A lot of times they'll head up for an aerial or an air dribble again from Joyo. Rise still that third man. Does not get the save off oh. the pole. And no follow up for Team Falcons. And it is so important that Moist Esports keep this one out just to make sure the momentum doesn't stay against them. Oh, oh. oh the plot armor is intact. The post saves Moist twice in a matter of seconds. Matera for Rise. He's unchallenged for the time being. Let's see Slippery what he can set. pull out. As I said, only for a second in this game. There's not much time for you to work with. Drops down. That's Ooh. dangerous. Khaled had to make sure of it with zero boost as well to his name. But Moist Esports, unrelenting pressure. Moist oh, going high on every challenge. You even see it there. TRK adapts to it. They've been dunked on about three times in a row there. TRK knew oh my. Moist are going to come in high, likely to, based on what they've just been doing moments ago. Fakes him out, goes Lauren. That does buy him off some time, but they're still under a ton of pressure here. But here at double middle. No third man moving in just yet. Woo! And I'd like to see another shot into the corner. Moist Esports, I'm seeing them constantly rotate out and opting to go for boost instead of the ball, trusting their teammate can stall and waste enough time to get back into rotation. This is everything for Moist Esports, controlling the pressure, the pace of the game. They're just waiting for their first goal. That's a shot! Oh! Batera, the man of the moment! It's a spike downwards. Ahmad was concerned it might be on target, made any kind of touch he could. Turned out to be a bad one. Tiro jumps on it, slams it in. There's still a long time left, but Moist are on the way to a bracket reset. So important as well for Moist Esports to get that first goal, especially after a game like the previous one where Falcons were in complete control. Now can put themselves right back into the mindset of the games beforehand. 
just look at the adjustment for Moist Esports. Previously, they were sending the house all three players. Now it's a rare sighting when you see any of them near each other on offense, facing out the field. Moist Esports have just been completely in control of this game. It's ridiculous. Two and a half minutes. Falcons have got nothing going. Johnny, we have not seen a game like this yet from Falcons in the entire tournament. Yeah, they're trying to be careful with their clears. It was a bad save, a bad clear by Falcons that led to the only goal they've conceded. Now they're really trying to control the ball. That does result in less chances as they're moving forward. Khaled off the wall. But Tira narrowly avoids getting hit. But narrowly is good enough in this situation. TRK, what's going on? Oh, no! <laughs> There's the constant danger from Team Falcons. Might be able to go one step further. Ooh. Good clear from Batira, but still, TRK deep enough on the third man rotation. He could run onto it. Batira once again clears. It's up to Ahmad to take over. Team Falcons doing what Moist Esports were doing earlier on, going high on these challenges, almost slotted it under, getting the first goal. We've seen them break out of their own half. This is the best looking Team Falcons all game long, but still scoreless, they remain. TRK has to commit a start. He just has to go. Their chances have been few and far between. Moist, starving them of pressure. And now comes one. Exactly. And two shots and a bump for Ahmad to score. You didn't expect it to be easy, did you? Falcons won. Moist Esports won. A minute and 15 seconds. And Turtle, maybe even overtime. The bracket reset currently in the balance. Oh. Game seven, lurking in the distance. You can feel it, you can sense it. Team Falcons, broken out of their half, got the first goal, the equalizer. Now waiting on a second. Aerial opportunity. Oh my, oh my. To block one, DRK in the perfect spot to collect. This remains after Moise, the threatening shot once again. Joyo buys enough time to get his team back into position. Off the wall. You can see his teammate around, pops the ball up. Nice yeah. right. right, reset, wants to go low. Great challenge from TRK. That's what they've got to do. They need to challenge early. They need to challenge strong, but TRK misses the boost seal. That's going to allow Moist to really build a counter attack here. I'm at a Khaled on zero. TRK's got 50. Boost running out for Falcons. We've seen them struggle in moments like this. You just get the feeling that it's going to be near impossible to get an open net to score yeah. on. It's going to be all about forcing a bad save. Getting to that moment where the scramble is in your favor. Over to oh, the wall. Matera, that's a good block for him. He just keeps going. Midfield. Oh my. But my goodness, both of these teams Ten just seconds. keep the offense going. Matera, unstoppable in every single 50. Something we never see against Falcons. Hamad predicts the dunk, goes under one. Who's there? Matera. He's going to advance. Pass one. Khaled dodges the bump. Oh, he's going it all the way to RK. <laughs> Had to shoot to keep it up. Couldn't get the angle. And the beautiful thing about this. They have to keep playing immediately afterwards. You get no time to breath, brief, no time for a reprieve. You just keep going. As that one skims across the face of the goal. Off the backboard. Here comes Joyo. Can't win the challenge. It looked like Team Falcons were finding their footing, getting their rhythm going. But Moist Esports towards the end of that game, getting into OT. They gained the lead back, the control back. And everything is in their favor. We'll see how they react. Big challenge by Ahmad, not letting Joyo get the air dribble started. Now Joyo lingers on field, he allows Rise to come in. TRK's bench, it goes yeah. all the way! Just like that. Offense can come from anywhere. And Falcons have let Moist Esports know about that Ooh. fact. Falcons are a game away from a major championship. Timeout, boys. I think we all saw that coming. Oh, yeah. I mean, how can you not after what you just witnessed? They had the lead. The dominance was there. What felt like the entire game, that final minute, even coming back into fruition for Moist Esports. But in the end, go on the distance and gents, a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> What a comeback as well by Falcons. So easy to put your head down in moments like this and just think that, oh, well, I guess it's not our day. The moist plot armor might just be better than ours, but Falcons come back from behind and TRK catches them off guard with an unreal pinch, which looked like it was 
just millimeters away from being a 50-50. Right. He sneaks it past by pinching it upwards. Usually from that position, you'd see the pinch being just straight forward, directly towards the net. But no, he knows that if he does that, he's going to get blocked. Goes over the top, allows the curvature of the field to send it towards the goal. Now, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you, he probably didn't expect it to go in, but you never know. And it's gonna be good either way. It's either a clear with, you know, a lot of pressure falling up, once in a million, yeah, actually, with TRK, it's probably a lot better odds than that. We'll have to ask the player. We finally did see them push up with all three players. Moist Esports, they gotta relax and calm down because this crowd getting louder and louder by the second, by the game. Potentially for the last time, Copper Box Arena, are you ready? One game away from a historical result. Falcons can win in their debut major, can become the first non-North American or European team to win an RLCS LAN event. Or Moist could bracket reset for their second major in a row. The crowd, I think, were with Falcons. All the way up until here. <laughs> they want that bracket reset. Will they get it? Or is it Team Falcon's time to shine and grab hold of that major? Misread from Khaled. He's to try and back pass instead. Matira is going to be all over him. And then an early flick goes in. It's moist in 12 seconds. Look at him go. The flick, controlling it from the sidewall. You think he's gonna go high. You think he's gonna take the air dribble, but instead, he swipes it down. The wave dash to get underneath yeah. the ball from Kamira. Mechanical perfection. Joyo keeps the pressure on. Ends up just getting stuck against Abad, who is actually around to help TRK out. He's got fast one. Got the flick. If that's not champion's response, then I don't know what is. TRK ties it for Falcons. Momentum swings heavily in their favor. Special Arena deserves a special Champions Field match off the backboard. Oh. First one to it, Ahmad fully aware that he was under no pressure. Horizon's first touch, not good. That's gonna invite Falcons onto this. It's up to Matera just to save his team a little bit of time. But Turtle, even mistakes like that cannot happen here. Oh, absolutely not. And this is a game seven. Everything that has happened prior, thrown oh. out the window. You don't even think about matches beforehand, about games beforehand. This is a brand new game. You're Every thinking completely different. The pressure, <laughs> it's, it's all, all gone. It's all mind games now. Everything's a mind game after the moist timeout. They're trying to play a little bit of a deeper line here. Catch all those hard clears that Falcons love to send towards. They love to send towards the middle. What can Rise do? Double tap. Free ball. Sets up for a shot, but it's blocked well by Ahmad. He knew where that was going. Got in the way. Yeah, the good news there for Ahmad was that the shot was straight at him. It meant that there was no real ability to fake out and delay the shot. He was always going to be at the right angle for it. Rise. Actually uses his opponent as a way of powering the ball to a more useful angle for Matera. Back to Rise. That's a good challenge for them. But as always, Falcons just get the ball into a position that's a little bit more safe. Pay attention to the distance that that third man from Moist Esports has on whoever's behind oh. the ball. A big bump and the oh. ball save from Moist Esports. Look at the boost balance. balance. Almost any, no one had anything off the backboard. Oh. the beneficiaries of some shambolic motions from G2 at the Winter Major. Now they provide Falcons, potentially the goal that gives them the Major. That one's gonna sting. We've seen Moist regain time and time again. Big bump off the backboard. Redeem himself that time. Luckily for them, they've got a long way to go. They've got three extremely talented players in their roster. They've synergized perfectly all weekend long. 
huge role on the coach to, of course, alleviate the pressure that fell on these players. And with a mistake like that, it's going to haunt your memory. But you have to move on, move past it. You've got half of the game left. Dawkins have to be careful with their clears. They panicked in moments like this, understandably so. They have to try and control the possession, have to find the passes, the 50s. Giving away the ball to Moist will result in an immediate goal. Rice takes control. Can't do any further than that. It's up to Patera to set up the next launch at offense. Team Falcons not willing to give up any length of the field. Joyo off the wall. Back down, Patera. Back to Rice! Oh! Pure class from Patera. And a finish to match from Rise. The vision on the infield. And the accuracy with the shot. Moist, bring it back. Minute and 50. Next goal is huge, and it could decide if this is a the same play. Oh, oh, oh. Rise! Forget about earlier on. He has made up for it. Double fold. And again, it's Matero infield. This time, Rice oh. shoots low <laughs> under the challenge. Two in a row, Matera to Rise into the Falcons' net. It's the same play down the other end. An even better shot. Finesse, the key for that one. And yet, I still don't know if I believe just yet. So many more twists to this tale yet to come. Will Moist get the second and put this one to bed? Or are Falcons gonna make this even more terrifying? Khaled wants to get there in time. But he's instantly shut down. Keep your eye on those boost amounts from both teams. There always is a player on zero. And if that player's the last one back, it's gonna be a goal. And you, got, you saw your boost in the most mechanical match the world's ever seen. Oh, he's got space. Locked up plenty on this play, but well defended. Back forward, not the option. Moist send it all the down. way down the field again. Joya. Can't follow up from any further. Just get the block first number. Khaled is going past everybody. 15. That's free. He's going to try and take on a free man team four times off the backboard. But because there was never an angle on the play, couldn't set up for a teammate. Time's getting away from them here. Falcons definitely leveled out that midfield battle. Where is the shot on target? Where is the chance to score? Where's the same synergy we saw from Moist to come back, not just to tie the game, but to put themselves in front? 23 seconds now. Ahmad picks up boost, takes them on oh, the wall. That's one. He's got Rising Matera to try and beat. Can he do Flip it? Reset. Not on this occasion. DRK tries to infield to Khaled, who will commit. They've got no time left. They're sending everybody forward. But it's Moist. Good guys once go. more. Here we go. Rise. Just going to make himself as big as possible. They're forced to bring Joy away. One. Ahmad against Matera. Matera gets him in time. Ball just hits that hit ball from here. It's gonna drop down. Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bracket reset. They've done it again. They do it in LA. They do it in London. They do it twice in game seven. Nobody's getting sent home. Not yet. We're going through a whole nother series. This. We did a bracket reset last time we were here. We're gonna do it again. Talk about frustration, being so close, leading late into the game before seeing two perfect infield passes, two perfect shots in the back of your net to oh. lose it in game seven. Falcons have now understood what it is like to lead in a final game. To lead on match point. Yeah. To lead on tournament point. And they couldn't get the job done. Looks like Moist plot armor for now. It's just a bit too much. Falcons could see the light at the end of the tunnel, but didn't have the mechanics, the skill set at this time to reach it. And talk about the recovery from Rise, the player, I'd say the MVP of that series, to make the initial mistake, then come out and hit two of the most clutch shots in Game 7 again and again. This man just doesn't stop in those moments. It is insane. He's just so icy. They all are. They've got unbelievable performance under pressure, unbelievable performance relative to their experience. I don't know how they keep doing it. I mean, 
We, we've called it peaking in the past. We've called it a streak in the past. But they do it every time. Every time. Every time. It's a part of who he is. It's a part of his play style. You yeah. can expect it on him. Yeah. Rarely. You think about players, Astro in particular, sometimes peaking, sometimes falling off. This man continues to impress us and come up in those clutch moments. So for those of you joining us for the first time and haven't met a bracket reset before, what has happened is because Falcons were not beaten in this tournament before, they have now been dropped to the lower bracket. They are now vulnerable to be eliminated, which means that when we come back from this break, one team will be major champions.